This is for my students that did not decide to purchase Photoshop, can't afford Photoshop. It doesn't matter based on your socioeconomic status. It's so it's cool. You do not have to purchase Photoshop for the $10 a month. I did my best to get it for free. I could not get it from Adobe for us, even due to the coronavirus pandemic. Our school, due to the setup of the way we have Photoshop set up, it's not a lab license. So this is a really bureaucratic thing. Don't worry about it. If you get Photoshop, though, you will continue in graphic design to web design. This is for people that did not get Photoshop and are ready for web design. You're going to make me a PowerPoint presentation. After this PowerPoint presentation is completed, you will then go into web design in limited fashion. Okay, and I apologize for that. Now, for now, my students, I'm going to differentiate for you guys that are done with Photoshop and are ready for web design. Before we do that, here's what you need to do. Students, you will generate a seven. I'm not going to reiterate this whole entire document that I have set up for you. However, I am going to go over slide number two. Slide number two, you're going to create an index. You guys are all licensed in Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. At least you should be if you're in graphic design. So now here's the deal. You know how to make a slide in PowerPoint. You know how to state your name. The class number can be your grade number. Okay, slide two, you're going to skip. Slide three, you're going to choose two of your favorite projects. I have the projects here. You're also going to tell me things you liked. And slide five is three things you um, ind indicate things you be very specific about things that you disliked as well. You know, I want you to tell me things that you enjoyed and did not like. Things you like most about it, I like, and I'll, I'll take into consideration and indicate three pieces of knowledge of how you will use each of the two projects you've selected and how they will, um, you will use the knowledge in your future. Well, I'll tell you one right now for web design, you're going to use all of these skills that I've showed you guys. So you're going to choose two projects. I put links in too. You can click on those. I've been challenged to do the car design in one minute. Not going to bore you with the whole entire thing, but I know a lot of you are going to choose the black and white text portrait. It's a fun project. And uh, ladies. Okay. We're gonna you do guys remember this? Now. With the text portrait, I'm going to make a picture of my face, and I'm going to make my whole entire portrait made of shadows and midtones of text. So basically, I could write a poem, or someone could have written a poem, or a love letter. See? You guys remember all this stuff. And I put, basically, I put the links to all of the projects so that this uh, way you guys are able to, uh, layer. I want you guys to be able to reference all the projects too. So I put hyperlinks in here, you know, because I am certified in Microsoft. Like you guys only know how to do this stuff. This is not hard to do for you. You know how to put hyperlinks into PDFs and make regular Word documents interactive. With that said, I just want to show you guys a skill that I know a lot of you know how to do this. I just want to go over the protocol on how to do slide two. This is for an index. You're going to create an index. Now, Reese, what do you mean by an index? All right. I'm opening up another PowerPoint presentation. Yes, I could kill you with PowerPoint presentations your whole life. This is a travel brochure. I actually enjoy this. It's about three of your major, it's about your, your culture. You're going to put foods from your culture at a restaurant, men, restaurant. I have a restaurant menu. You go back and forth from files to do this. Don't worry about this. This is what I'm focused on right now. Slide two is an index. Reese, how do I do an index? That is this part right here. When you go into your assignment, it is slide two. Create an index button for each slide with an active hyperlink and place the button on each slide that leads the viewer back to the index. Here's how we do. I'm getting rid of this. You're not going to see any of this stuff anymore. Getting out of it. Getting rid of it. Get lost. Get, goodbye. 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 Okay. I also had an index here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'll get rid of this one. I just want to show you guys from scratch how to do this. All right. This is one of my previous projects that I had prior to teaching Photoshop heavy and going into doing the web design stuff with you guys, which I love. Here's how we do. You're going to go to insert. We're going to get a shape. Just take a shape. You're going to choose any shape you want. I'll do this shape right here. We're going to make one shape like this. Now, depending on how many slides, it's eight slides. On this particular project, it's eight slides. All right, no problem. So make this thing symmetrical. Good. Copy it. Copy. Paste. Bring it down. There is two slides. Now hold shift. Select both. Copy. Paste. Now I have four. Four. 
Uh, I believe it was eight slide user. So we'll go back into here, hold this one, shift, two, three, four, right click, copy, oh yes, I love it. Control V, bam, moving on over. All righty then, hold shift, select all of these, move them over to the middle, all righty. Now, I am going to name these things. I am going to click on the home tab. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I lied. I'm gonna insert a text box. Uh, where are you? There's the text boxes. We'll go into here. I'm gonna call this one uh, slide one. Slide one. I'm gonna take this text box and I'm gonna just copy it from right here and I'm gonna paste it. Uh, paste, slide one. I'm gonna put slide one up here. Fine. I'll, you know what? The text isn't really legible. You could change it to white if you want. You can get Craig if you want to. I'm not mandating it. It should have good contrast for people. You know, when you start doing web design, there's rules for that kind of stuff. All right. Um, let's go into here. We'll go to slide number slide two. All right. Moving on over. Oh, I love it. There it is. Slide two. Copy it. Control C. Control V. Slide three. Control V, slide four, all right? Moving down, go ahead, there's slide four. We'll name them, all right, I know. Slide three, and we'll go to slide four. All right, now I'll take this one. Control C, Control V, five. Slide number five, slide six, slide seven, slide eight. Control V, Control V, Control V. As you know, Control-C is copy, Control-V is paste. For those of you that have forgotten that, that also works in Photoshop, as we know. All right, so four, this will be slide number five. Okay, I love it. Slide number six, all right? Slide number seven, seven, and slide number eight, eight. Now, watch, here's how you do this. You're gonna click on the text box, hold shift. Actually, I lied, click on the, all right, listen up. Click on the text box itself. Go to the perimeter. Hold shift. This is where listening comes in. Hold shift. Click on the edge. Click that. Hold shift. Click on the box too. Now I have the text box and the shape selected. There's a reason I did that. Um, you're going to right click. You are then going to link this stuff. So what you do is, why am I not linking this? Hang on a minute from now. Hold on now, hold on. Right click. Okay, thank you. We're gonna click on the box itself. Right click, go to link. After you have clicked on link, you wanna go to an, not an existing web page. By the way, you could link it to the web if you wanna link that button to the web. Like let's say this was a map of Egypt and you wanted to link this to Egypt, you could put the link to Google Maps in here and do it, but we're not doing that. We're going to a place in this website, slide one. By the way, I'm Italian, so my website is based on, my PowerPoint is based on Italy. Yours can be, you're not doing this project, so don't worry about it, but mine's based on Italy. Now, this slide one is going to the top one of Italy. Hit OK. That's it. Yeah, easy linking is done. Drag the slide. All right, fine. Come here, right click, link. You're going to go to place in document two. Okay. Another one, right click, link, place in the document, slide three to three major airports. Next one, right, my bad, right click, uh, hyperlink. You're going to go to slide four, three major cities. Slide five, I'm just going to fly through it now. Uh, I'm going to go to link, slide five, hit okay. That's fine. Slide six, right click, link, slide six. Love it. Go to food, which everyone loves, especially me. We'll go to link, slide seven. Okay. And last one, slide eight. Uh, link. Slide eight is a free slide. I always give you guys a free slide. Now, check it out. If I go into uh, slideshow, view show, view, uh, slideshow, I believe it's F5. Uh, file. Oh, how do I view the show again? I forgot this. Hold on a minute. Um, all right. Before we do anything, um, I will, I'll just show you how it works. Let me go to slide number two. This links to slide two. There's a reason I linked it to itself. 
I'm going to copy this thing. I'm going to grab the text box as well. I'm going to hold shift and grab this part as well. I'm going to right click, go to copy. I'm going to then go into the PowerPoint. You don't need this. Don't worry about this. I'm then going to right click and go to paste. Paste. There's slide two. This I will call now. I'll make it a little bit smaller for y'all. I'll put this here. I'm going to call slide two index. Here's what the index does. And as I said, you could change it to white. Highlight it. Go to the home section. We'll make it white. It's white. All right. Now watch this. I'm going to hold shift. I'm grabbing the edge. I'm holding shift. I'm going to right click copy because watch this. Check it. If I go to um, the link, which I can't preview the link right now. But the link on this thing is going to this slide here. Now watch what I just did. I'm going to select this one and this one. Whoopsie. Hold shift and select this too. Copy. I'm going to go into my airports and I'm going to paste the link in. There's my index. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to go into the three major cities and I'm going to paste it over here. I'll put it like out of the way over there. I'll go to my sites to see in Italy and I'll paste it over here out of the way. I'll go to the food and restaurants and stuff. I'll paste it out of the way. And then I'll go to the holiday celebrations and I'll paste it out of the way. I taught this initially in middle school in Brooklyn and everyone did well with this stuff. I miss it. I miss those students too. All right. If you guys are watching. You remember this stuff. So now here we have an index and we have the top. Here's how it looks. You're going to go to slideshow from the beginning. So check it out. Now I have my slides. Oh, cool. Oh, look, there's an index. I can click on the index. Oh, I can go to slide one, two, and three. I can click on slide three. Guess what? It goes to the maps. I go to the index. Oh, I want to go to slide four. I go back to slide four. I made my PowerPoint kind of like a website, isn't it? It's got clickable buttons and icons, okay? So I can go back to the index at all time as a point of reference. That is what this slide two is. Now you guys have full transparency. Yeah, there's nice little pictures of our lab here too. I put to make it look really cute. All right. So basically, guys, you're going to elaborate on two projects you did in Photoshop, all on the YouTube channel, the business card statue project, Roy Lichtenstein logo design name for the whole nine yards. You're going to go to Google to get images that you need to related to these uh, projects. And you're going to make me a seven slide PowerPoint presentation. This is for you all that could not get Photoshop yet. Okay. If you do purchase Photoshop, go right into web design and follow the tutorials and start making mobile responsive websites. Otherwise I was flexible and I had to differentiate a little bit for my students that cannot afford Photoshop due to the business of Adobe, which it all comes down to business. So they don't want to give us things uh, free because we don't have a lab license. That might change. I have faith in them. I've been with that company a long time. Again, all we could do is our best. Right now, you do this assignment in lieu of going on in Photoshop if you can't afford it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, after this project is done, I will have another following project in PowerPoint that you guys will be able to do that will build off prior knowledge. Don't you guys worry about a thing. Okay, this is for people that are done with Photoshop and now are ready for web design or are up to Photoshop and they cannot continue in Photoshop because of the gap of getting the software for Photoshop. You guys are going to be fine. Do this project after this project is over and I have conference with everybody. We will go on to another one. All right. So. This is how you do the index for, I gave you the quick tutorial for slide two. Everything else, your license in PowerPoint. I don't want to hear it. You all know how to do this stuff. This is elementary stuff to you. All right. I have full faith in all of you. And I hope that everybody is safe and sound in their homes right now during this pandemic. Thank you.